What's up, everybody, and welcome to another edition of AGR's Pop Culture Reviews. Now, I'm going to be the first to admit that there are certain characters that always make a reoccurrence on the show. Jean Grey is definitely one of those contenders, along with the Black Widow, Wonder Woman, and Catwoman. And I have to say, I'm not really complaining. And based on the feedback that you guys have given me, you'd like to see more of the Dark Phoenix, the Phoenix, and Jean Grey in general. And thankfully, I'm happy to oblige. And finally, after months and months of searching, I was able to get the Diamond Select Toys San Diego Comic Con GameStop exclusive X-Men Dark Phoenix, so I now have the holy triumvirate of these figures. And I'll definitely be reviewing that piece in a future episode, so stay tuned. Now, Kotobukiya has been doing some amazing things with their Artifacts and Artifacts Plus line. And as I mentioned in a previous video, the 110 scale figures have become incredibly popular with collectors. Now add into that mix the 90s versions of the X-Men characters, and you have pure Nirvana. So today we're going to be reviewing Kotobukiya's version of the X-Men 92 Phoenix, the 110 scale Artifacts Plus statue. Let's take a closer look. Now at 110 scale, this is a relatively small piece, but my goodness does it make a gargantuan statement. I also have to say you can't deny the religious symbolism here as she does look like she's kind of on a crucifix and it is freaking awesome. The head sculpt here is absolutely fantastic. I love the countenance in the face. The stern look is amazing. The makeup is done very well. The most important thing is the hair sculpt. They got the hair color right. It just looks perfect. Guys, this is one of the most beautiful head sculpts of Jean Grey that I've seen at this scale. Now this exquisite attention to detail also extends to the midsection and upper torso of this piece. Now the color palette of the 92 Phoenix has always been my favorite, but what really complements this statue is the multitude of textures. Beginning with the sheen of her gold gloves and sash, then the striking contrast between the solid black gloss neckline that highlights the wonderful Phoenix logo. And of course, probably the most important aspect, finally culminating with the light suede green of her costume. I have to say, this is a real feast for the eyes. Now, as I mentioned before, there is an undeniable nod to the crucifixion here, but it is very tasteful. It also influenced the overall art direction here. I love the stance. It is so well done. Most importantly, though, just take a look at the boots. Again, the color palette is fantastic, and it is sculpted to sheer perfection. I also really love the illusion here that she's just kind of floating on that fire of the phoenix. Now something that I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video is that this statue does have to be built. In other words, there are certain components that have to come together for it to look this way. Now I don't recommend that you mirror this piece for a couple of reasons. The first being the seam lines. They're not hidden very well and they're obvious and kind of gross looking. The second is that it will detract from what you do want to highlight, which is the front side. And then also you have that base stopper, the kind of tripod. It is going to be noticeable, so don't mirror this one, guys. Now the base here is just perfection. As you can see, the flame of the phoenix behind her is spectacular. And just take a look at how small this footprint is. It is really amazing. Now the other reason that I asked you not to mirror this is that some of you are really smart. And if you want, because of the translucency of the base, you can run LED lights on the reverse side and really highlight this thing and make it look awesome. So I definitely recommend if you have the ability and the ingenuity that you do this because it will look spectacular, guys. I mean, just look at how beautiful that is. Imagine that lit up. Now, this kind of goes without saying, but as I was reviewing this piece, it totally earned my holy grail seal of approval. Now, there is a bit of a caveat here, or I should say a bit of a warning. This is part of a set of the other X-Men statues, and it will prompt you to want to collect those pieces. So just be warned. Now, before I go, I just want to thank the folks over at Big Bad Toy Store for sending this wonderful piece over for a review. And if you're interested in this and other collectibles, please visit www.bigbadtoystore.com. Alright everybody, so that's my official review on Kotobukiya's X-Men 92 Phoenix, the 110 scale Artifacts Plus statue. As always, I thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next AGR's Pop Culture Reviews.